The elevation and windage turret designs are the most advanced Zeiss has to offer to date. Specifically speaking, the elevation turret with a ballistic stop is the most tier one elevation turret I've experienced and shot to date. The LRP S5 ballistic stop and external locking windage turret offers some highly unique design differences and some strong end user benefits. A big difference for these LRP S5 rifle scopes is the fact that the turrets are not removable. That means you're not gonna lose the set screws. That means you're not gonna contaminate the internal mechanism of the turret itself. It's simply a superior turret design. We've previously discussed the distinct differences of these turrets and the features and benefits they offer. Now we're gonna show you. Here's our current status. The rifle scope is out of the box. It's been mounted in the rings and onto the rifle, and we now have a side end zero. Now that we have the side end zero established, it's time to re-index the turret to zero and set the ballistic stop at the exact same time. Before we get started, we wanna share with you one of the unique design differences in these turrets versus other turrets that are available. When you loosen the two set screws on these turret designs and you go to re-index the turret to zero, you will still witness and feel the tactile clicks. This is normal. This is because when the two set screws are loosened, the turret will not have an adjustment on the reticle any longer. It will only allow the turret to re-index to zero. We'll begin by loosening the two T8 Torx set screws. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one. Push down all the way. Rotate it clockwise until it stops. Tighten the two T8 set screws you previously loosened. Wow, we're done. It was that fast, it was that simple. Ballistic stops, highly repeatable, super precise. Notice we didn't remove the turret. We didn't lose any screws. We didn't contaminate the mechanism. Just a dead simple, fast process, ready to go and have fun shooting. So we've just completed showing you how to set the ballistic stop when it's out of the box and newly mounted on the rifle. However, there's gonna be times when you're gonna to need to reset the ballistic stop. Why? If we wanna swap the scope to another rifle, if we wanna change out barrels, if we wanna change ammunition types or bullet weights, those are all examples of reasons why we would need to readjust the ballistic stop. And once again, we'll begin by loosening the two Torx T8 set screws. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one at this juncture. You pull on the turret completely up until it comes to a hard stop. While in the up position, go ahead and tighten the turret again. Now, at this point, you'll get to a new position within your turret rotation where you now have a new side end zero. Now that you have a new side end zero from this position, you can reset and re-index the zero and reset the ballistic stop. So in order to do so, we need to begin by loosening the two set screws once again. Loosen the first one. Loosen the second one. Now press down all the way until it comes to a hard stop. Rotate until it comes to another hard stop. Tighten the first set screw. Tighten the second set screw to the appropriate specifications. And we're done. It's that fast and it's that simple. Now that we've got the elevation turret and ballistic stop addressed, it's time to get to the external locking windage turret. Let's go over a few things here. To begin, we're gonna have to loosen the two set screws. Take the locking collar, perhaps pull out on it just a little bit and index the set screw hole. Loosen the first set screw. Loosen the second set screw. Now that it's loosened, We'll re-index it to our side end zero, and we'll go ahead and tighten our two set screws that we just loosened. Tighten number one, tighten number two, ensure the locking collar works, and zero is easy to address. And that's it. You notice how fast, simple, and easy that was? We didn't have to remove the turret, we didn't lose any screws, and we didn't have to contaminate the internal mechanism. We achieved a new and repeatable zero in just a few seconds. These new turrets on the LRP S5 first focal plane rifle scopes are simply amazing to work with.